Question number three, and this one is about chromium is a metal that can be purified through the reduction of chromium oxide, which is Cr2O3. Calculate the number of mole of chromium oxide present in a two kilogram lump of Cr2O3. All right, so we're assuming there's a two kilogram lump of pure that. And as I said, we have done mole already. So some of these mole questions might creep back into some of our tests here. So number of moles of Cr2O, what was it? Three equals M over MR which we've got two kilograms, that's 2,000 grams, divided by the molar mass of chromium oxide. Now, oxygen I know is 16, so that's going to be 48 for three of them. Chromium, on the other hand, I need to use my pyrrhic table to work out that it's 52. So therefore, if I go in here and go to my calculator and go 52 plus 52 plus 48, my molar mass of chromium oxide is 152. So take 2,000 divided by my answer, I'll have 13.16 mole of chromium 2 oxide. Next question, determine the, deduce the number of mole of chromium present in the rock and hence the maximum mass of chromium that can be extracted from the rock. All right, so I need to know my number of moles of chromium and I can see that I've got two chromiums in every chromium oxide. So it's going to be number of moles of Cr2O3 times by 2, which is 13 Point one six times 2, taking out my trusty calculator, take my answer and times it by 2. Notice I didn't clear my answer because I knew I would have to try and use it, I might have to use it somewhere else here. That answer gives me 26.3, 26.3 mole. And then my mass of chromium is going to be equal to my number of moles times molar mass which is 26.3 times by 52, because remember my molar mass of chromium comes from beforehand. If I take that number again, take the answer times by 52, I don't retype my things in there, and it's going to be 1,368 grams, which equals 1.37 kilograms. And therefore I've got my mass of chromium that can be extracted from my rock. Again, this is just a mole question, but it's to do with the metal and the extraction of metals, which I think um, kind of fits with this, pro this topic.